Discover Michigan. Discover Boeing Golf. Costa Rican Golf Adventures. Tee it up on the wild side, baby. Hey, welcome to this week on Golf and Around. My friend and I are here at the Innisbrook Resort just outside of Tampa Bay, Florida. And guess what? It is home to four wonderful golf courses. So let's get ready this week to tee it up on Golf and Around from Innisbrook Resort. Well, Innisbrook is located 22 miles north of the Tampa Bay International Airport. It's a great location, a short half an hour's drive away. Innisbrook has been here in the Tampa Bay area since 1970. So we're beginning to work up our 50th anniversary celebrations as we start 2019. At Innisbrook, we're happy to have four championship golf courses here. Um, the first course, our island course, was constructed in 1970. It's a wonderful track with many elevation changes, and in fact, many of our members consider it the most difficult track here at Innisbrook. In 1990 and 1991, the NCAA Division I men's finals were here. Phil Mickelson won in 1990, and they had the choice to play Copperhead or Island, and they chose the Island course. But of course, our Copperhead course is, is truly our, our tribute course. It has been here, uh, we've had a uh, uh, nationally televised golf tournament every year since 1989. So we're coming up on 30 years of nationally televised professional tour events here at Innisbrook and at Copperhead. Three years ago, Copperhead went through a massive uh, renovation and refurbishment. We spent almost $5 million redoing greens, fairways, bunkers, and tees. And while you're looking at some of our liquid sunshine here today, it guarantees to have a very green, very beautiful overseed when you see us on TV in March for the tournament. Uh, the signature hole, we have two of them. Um, I think five and 14, both par fives. They're, they're signatures of our designer, Larry Packard. He always favored a double dog leg. And both of these courses um, have, have tremendous tests for both the resort golfer, our club members, and the PGA Pro Tours. So fortunate to have 300 condominiums that make up our hotel inventory. Um, these are all individually owned, beautifully renovated. In fact, we're going through a massive renovation uh, this year. All of our guest accommodations will be completely renovated with new furniture, new carpet, all new appliances in the kitchen, granite countertops. You name it, it's being done at Innisbrook. So by the time we finish this project, early this fall, we'll have a completely renovated resort to offer our guests, whether they be conference guests or the golfers that come down so frequently to bless our resort. So we have a world-class spa. Salamander Spa is uh, perennially voted one of the best spas in the Tampa Bay area. Our owner, Sheila Johnson, personally curated all of the offerings and services at the Salamander Spa. It's open to the public, we have a great patronage from both our members, our resort guests, and locals who love to come to the spa as well. Complementing the spa, four restaurants, from Packard's Steakhouse to our Market Salamander Grill, the Osprey Lounge, and our members only Turnberry Restaurant. Uh, great offerings for just about any type of diet or any type of cuisine you're looking for. In addition, we have six swimming pools. The fortunate swimming pool and the, and the one that we look at the most is our Loch Ness pool. Loch Ness has twin slides for kids to play in. Uh, the Loch Ness grill is right there for poolside offerings, snacks, cocktails, and drinks. 
Our tennis center is world renowned. We have 11 clay courts, full service tennis facility, uh, teaching staff, pro staff, and this spring we have uh, a ladies USPTA event and a seniors event coming the first week in April. Both of those events will be nationally televised. Don't just play golf. You challenge the narrow fairways of Royal County Down. You revel in stunning landscapes along the Causeway Coastal Routes. You tee off where the champions play. And you experience golf's best. Play for their piece of history at Royal Port Rush, host of the 148th Open in 2019. You write your own storied adventure in Northern Ireland. Begin your journey at Ireland.com slash golf now. As a golfer, you have a passion for the game, for that elusive shot in 100 that reminds you why you play. For nationally recognized courses designed by legends, situated in extraordinary environments. With 10 championship golf courses from designers like Robert Trent Jones and Arthur Hills, and three premier Northern Michigan resorts, Boyne provides the ultimate setting for the golf escape of a lifetime. Three resorts, 10 courses, only one Boyne Golf. Start your round at boynegolf.com. Less friction equals more distance. The original three-prong ZF Tour is the number one performance tee on the PGA Tour with over 70 wins and more than 400 top tens. With the four-prong ZF Extreme, you place the prongs outside the target. The ZF Extreme minimizes spin and delivers up to seven more accurate yards off the tee box. The five-prong ZF Victory is designed for easier ball placement. With 50% less surface area, it gives you more distance and helps you find more fairways. Put zero friction technology to work for you. Better your game by using a zero friction performance tee today. Zero friction, no boundaries. All right, we are at Innisbrook and I'm gonna give you a little overview of our golf courses. We have four golf courses here at Innisbrook. The South Course, which is a little more link style, resort friendly for the newer golfer, or the person who just wants to have some fun. We have our North Course that has a handful of holes that used to be Copperhead Mini 3, as we call it, or part of Copperhead a long time ago. So it has some really challenging holes, good for the guests, but also good, good test of your abilities. The Island, which is one of my personal favorites, Island has it all. It has a lot of water. A lot of shot making, need to play the ball in certain positions, risk versus reward. Does have a lot of elevation on the back nine, uncharacteristic of most Florida courses. And then you get to our famous Copperhead, which the snake pit just starting to enter. You can see the snake behind me. Copperhead, very widespread. Uh, calls for distance, but the, I think the biggest test is not only some of the shot making, but definitely the greens. Trying to read the greens properly, little sneaky breaks in its immaculate condition, ready for the Valspar Championship and all our pros to come out and take the test. So here's our snake pit, snake pit statue. You're just starting to enter the snake pit. You're gonna deal with number 16, that's a par four. It dog legs to the right and a little back to the left. You're gonna deal with water off the tee on the right. You're gonna go on to the 17th hole of par three. That's a little uphill and tough green to play. And then our last final hole, the 18th hole, that's well bunkered right and left to an uphill green, well bunkered as well on a severe slope. So really put you to the test. South course here, the par three, number three. And strategy in front of us is we have an obstacle of water and we to deal with. So one of the first things you wanna look at is where the pin placement is. If the pin is placed left, you have to carry over a longer distance over the water and also a higher elevation. So we have three options here. Go for a pin, go for the middle of the green, go for the right side that would carry up over the water but not bounce back into the water or even play short. But all three of those have strategy. So we're gonna take this at the middle of the green. So I just hit that ball about 10 feet to the right of the pin. I'm gonna teach you a putting technique that you may never have heard before. You've seen tour players sometimes use their fingers for alignment, that's called aim point. So what they do is they get a grading system for the green. So you're gonna use your feet to tell you the story where your weight's being thrown left to right to the extreme, it's left and right, or toe to heel, uphill, downhill. Downhill breaks a little more. I'm feeling more of a one, I'm going downhill, so I'm gonna give it a two. One on the grading system and downhill, I'm gonna add a finger because it breaks more. So I'm gonna take two fingers, 
I'm going to extend my arm and place it on the high side of the hole and it will give me my aim point of where I want the ball to travel. And what is this one telling you? So I'm going about this far outside the hole. So as you can see with the new rules, we can leave the flag stick in. Now we're off to number 16 of the island. We're on 16 on our island golf course. It's a par four, a little dog leg to the right. A little more strategy here. It a lot of times plays like a par five, so we'll see what happens. So I hit my drive a little left center of the fairway. It's perfect position for my next shot. Okay, I have my second shot now on this par four, but I have 222 yards. It's cold outside. I can't hit that distance, plus with the, the weather being colder, the ball's gonna fly shorter anyway. So the strategy is playing the chess match to a position. It makes no sense for me to hit a long shot, which brings the water or that narrow zone into play, which also the tree will block my next shot. So I'm gonna play to a position, simple punch shot, keeping it low, not much can go wrong. Played a little left center of the fairway and put my next shot right on the green. Don, you're the director of golf. You instruction. know, instruction. instruction. <laughs> you know better than anybody that something could go wrong at any second here. I so please tell the people. <laughs> Something could go wrong, people. No, we're positive. All right, we're, I'm, I'm, we're positive. All right, mental. It's a mental game as well. Okay. We're going to see how she does. Go. No trouble. No trouble. Playing it safe and smart. So here I took a little more club because of the cold and hit it a little right of the pin towards the center of the green. Went a little long on the green, but it was a good shot. Play today in the United States Golf Challenge. Where the country's best two-person teams battle to become a member of Team USA. Do you have what it takes to be a member of Team USA? As they challenge teams from across the globe in the International Kings Cup. To learn more, log on to www.usgolfchallenge.com. As a golfer, you have a passion for the game, for that elusive shot in 100 that reminds you why you play, for nationally recognized courses designed by legends situated in extraordinary environments, with 10 championship golf courses from designers like Robert Trent Jones and Arthur Hills, and three premier Northern Michigan resorts, 
Point provides the ultimate setting for the golf escape of a lifetime. Three resorts, 10 courses, only one Boyne Golf. Start your round at BoyneGolf.com. Better your game by using a zero friction performance tee today. Zero friction, no boundaries. All right, we're on Copperhead, number 12, beautiful hole. It's a par four. You're going to contend with water to cross over after the tee shot, and there's some a little bit on the right, so you might want to consider not using your driver depending on your distance. All right, I hit my drive a little to the right, but I'm still in the fairway. I'll have a quite long shot in, but let's see what happens. All right, I have my second shot here. It's uphill, it's a little cold, it's long distance. So we're gonna take this a little left of the pin, right up the gut. So I hit that right up the gut. It's a little short, but I got a little chip and I can make that putt. my gap wedge here got a little chip shot uphill um, into the grain so it might be a little slow so I got my 48 degree wedge let's see what happens almost tapping gimme Okay, since I got a tap in, I'm going to take you over to hole number 14, the par 5, and let's see what happens there. All right, I'm up at my tee shot here on the number 14th hole in copper at the par 5. I'm going to hit my second shot, three wood, right down the middle to put myself in position to get myself on the green on the next one. All right, I hit my shot a little leak to the right. I don't know that I like that, but we'll see what I can do with the next one. I might have a tree to contend with. I'm on 14 on Copperhead, hit my third shot in, and because I'm a little bit of a gambler type, I'm going right through the trees. Kind of not the smartest play I'd have my students do, but I'm not doing it for a living, I'm doing it for fun. Here we go. So I strike my wood right through the trees, and my guess it's just short of the green, right up close to the bunker. All right, I found the sand. I do love the beach, but not quite the bunkers. But anyway, we're gonna hit some sand out first and let that ball take a little ride with the sand next to the pin. Gonna need a little high softy shot because the pin's kind of tucked close. So I got a little bit high trajectory to jump over. All right, I just popped it out of the sand. The ball's onto the green. I'm ready to make a putt. It was a little firm, but got through it, and it's ready to go. There it is. I drained my putt using the flag stick. I love leaving the flag stick in. It gives me some freedom. No, made my putt. Loving it. 
Play today in the United States Golf Challenge. Where the country's best two-person teams battle to become a member of Team USA. Do you have what it takes to be a member of Team USA? As they challenge teams from across the globe in the International Kings Cup. To learn more, log on to www.usgolfchallenge.com. As a golfer, you have a passion for the game, for that elusive shot in 100 that reminds you why you play, for nationally recognized courses designed by legends situated in extraordinary environments, with 10 championship golf courses from designers like Robert Trent Jones and Arthur Hills, and three premier northern Michigan resorts. Boeing provides the ultimate setting for the golf escape of a lifetime. Three resorts, 10 courses, only one Boeing Golf. Start your round at boinggolf.com. spa here is absolutely wonderful. We do have many different things here to offer. It goes from our salon for hair and nails all the way to massages with facials, body wraps, and so much more. So it varies. We have so many different types of massages so you can choose between your aromatherapy. You can get hot stones added, scalp massages, foot scrubs, all different sorts of things. Achieve the ultimate version of your best self at Salamander Spa Tampa Bay. Experience a rewarding journey of extraordinary transformation as your mind and body encounter pure bliss. Our spa therapists are experienced in the most innovative methods and healing techniques to restore, renew, and inspire. Let the staff at Salamander Spa energize, heal, and bring harmony to your life through massage, facials, body treatments, and salon services. I'd like to thank Don Mercer, golf genius pro person that teaches people how to play better golf at Innisbrook. Let's face it, your golf swing, well, it could be like a roller coaster, up, down, over, anyway. And if you don't have a consistent swing plane, well, you can't win a trophy. Well, you know what I mean. So let's go talk to Don Mercer, one of the great pros over at Innisbrook Golf Resort. Okay, so you, I'm going to show you around my workshop and all my tools that really get your game to go to another level and have fun. All right, so this program right here is from a person by the name of Stephen Yellen, Design Fluid Motion Factor. I got to spend two days with him, and as most people know, I, the game's more metal than physical. So we, I not only show you the physical side, but more importantly, once you start to get comfortable with that, is really how do you take it to the game, get in the zone, play without thinking, keep it simple, um, time stand still, and really get your performance that's already built in and be able to tap that in or tap into that as well as reset if you get off track on the golf course. So with this track, it allows the club to swing back on plane where your average student likes to snatch the club inside too quickly and get it behind him and then lift it to position. So the track allows you to move it back on plane more as a unit, you get feedback immediately when you move it up the plate correctly. Sensations for people that's a little outside where it's more in plane. And then it allows you to transition back to the left on your, to your lead side to have the hands ahead to push it out of play on plane on this side. So it gets the arms and the body to work a lot more together in unison instead of independent and keeps the, the body working more centered in balanced position. Now, if I have my way, that golf club moves when your shoulder moves. So we're gonna work this club more arms, shoulders, and club as a unit, kind of like an elephant's trunk swinging back and through. And we get the golf club working arms and shoulders all as one, so it gets more in plane instead of people like to go a lot of independence with the hands or the arms without any rotation. So a great way to check your rotation is stand tall. Go ahead and put your arms out. Try not to move your shoulders and go back arms only. You can see my arms can't be anywhere near each other. So if I was holding a golf club, this one would win. And there's the chicken wing or how everyone refers to lack of extension. We're told left arm straight, but you physically can't. If I simply rotate, shoulders, now my shoulders and arms are together. There's that extension without any restriction. 
So probably the biggest breakdown that students have is lack of rotation. They try to do everything with the outside of the swing, the golf club in the arms or hands, and I want them to work more the inside of the golf swing. Take the club away with the shoulder rotation, hit it with your hips. So using more mass and larger muscles than independent muscles or hands or club. So if I had one teaching aid to take with me for life, only one, this would be it. And it would be a crate, a milk crate. A lot of people like to get their Elvis move or get out of center. I think when Golf Tech and Swing True even determined that hip sway is the worst element for your amateur golfer. So one way to get people to feel it fast is I get a milk crate, have them stand on it, make some swings, depending on their shoe size, have them stand in it afterwards and hit some balls. In some cases, even have them stand on it and have an elevated table to have them hit some balls to feel a surface that they need to rotate within their boundaries and not sway out of the box. Play today in the United States Golf Challenge. Where the country's best two-person teams battle to become a member of Team USA. Do you have what it takes to be a member of Team USA? as they challenge teams from across the globe in the International Kings Cup. To learn more, log on to www.usgolfchallenge.com. As a golfer, you have a passion for the game, for that elusive shot in 100 that reminds you why you play, for nationally recognized courses designed by legends situated in extraordinary environments. With 10 championship golf courses from designers like Robert Trent Jones and Arthur Hills and three premier northern Michigan resorts, Boyne provides the ultimate setting for the golf escape of a lifetime. Three resorts, 10 courses, only one Boyne Golf. Start your round at boynegolf.com. In Northern Ireland, you don't just play golf. You challenge the narrow fairways of Royal County Down. You revel in stunning landscapes along the Causeway Coastal Routes. You tee off where the champions play, and you experience golf's best. Play for their piece of history at Royal Port Rush, host of the 148th Open in 2019. You write your own storied adventure in Northern Ireland. Begin your journey at Ireland.com slash golf now. Golfing Around is sponsored by the United States Golf Challenge, the greatest amateur golf tournament. Boeing Golf, discover Michigan, discover Boeing Golf. Costa Rican Golf Adventures, tee it up on the wild side, baby.